We have just arrived at the White Temple. It's 100 baht each to enter. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in and have a look. It's absolutely stunning. Like you just can't even, I can't even explain how beautiful it is. So when we get up close, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the entrance to the temple and these are all like hands and skulls, which is very creepy. Um, and everyone's queuing up here to take photos, which is really cute. So everyone's in an orderly queue. This is the white temple up close and it's got like all these shimmery bits in which make it glisten in the sun. So it's super pretty. This is the other side of the temple. Well, you come, the temple's kind of inside and then you come out and we're just gonna wander around and see kind of what else there is to see. But yeah, it's very intricate and beautiful. Um, there's just so much to look at like everywhere. Like up here, you've got like dragons on the side. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm really glad we got to come here. Um, and then kind of like on the outside, there's loads of like restaurants and shops and stuff. So you can always look around there like afterwards. Um, there is other parts of the temple which is kind of like being renovated at the moment. Here is a side view of the temple. The temple itself is not that big, it's mainly this one here, because this bit here is closed. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go and explore the other parts of the temple. So you come out here and out the exit and they've got like shops and other things to look at. Um, but yeah, they're kind of renovating these parts here, so it will be slightly bigger uh, once they've done that. We have come to another part of the temple like outside and they've got like this water feature which is so beautiful and they've got like bells in the water feature and all different creatures like lizards up there um, pelicans so yeah it's well worth having a look it's just kind of like outside the temple which is like over here um, and yeah there's loads of things to see here so definitely worth having a look outside of the temple itself it's very relaxing here as well here is another part of the water area and it's got like a stream here and like fog and there's a little warthog over there and then it's got the big Buddha so yes yeah, very very peaceful here and really nice this is another part of the like temple area and it's like a gold temple this time um, I don't think it's like proper gold it might just be painted with gold varnish or something but it's super intricate <laughs> Is, which is the word I like to use um, I don't know if you can actually go up there um, it does say it's open but yeah it's very pretty so it's very very cool oh it's closed okay so you can't go up there um, but yeah I'm gonna go and have a look around the rest and then find something for breakfast this is the white temple here and yeah like I was saying it's all gated so it's kind of like a specific area then there's like loads of restaurants and shops around so you can like go shopping or eating afterwards we're gonna head over to the cafe Amazon grab some breakfast because we've not had any breakfast and then we're gonna go and have a look at the shops we have come to cafe Amazon for a break so I got a tea with milk and a sandwich and Alfie got like a cream puff thing and he's also gonna get like a frappe we are gonna have a look in some of the shops, which are just opposite the um, temple, and see if there's any gifts we wanna pick up. So yeah, literally like the temple's here, and then all the shops are here. So yeah, we're gonna have a look while we're here, see if there's anything we want, and then hop in the tuk-tuk to somewhere else. Ooh, they have a smoothie. I might pick up a smoothie on the way. So yeah, they have so much cute little stuff, like little bags and stuff. Adorable. Uh, let me get my uh, change my sunglasses. In this um, shopping centre, they've got loads of different things. You can get like skirts, clothing, tops. Um, they've got like saris, and then over here they've got more kind of like gifts. Um, so yeah, there's lots of little stuff to look at here. These are really cute. I like these and the little elephants, they're very cute. We've got like t-shirts here as well. <laughs> And then here they've got like bags and little scarves. Oh. 
and then here they've got like little pouches and stuff that you can buy which is really cool very cool I'm just getting a mango smoothie which is 40 baht um, and yeah very delicious we have come to Singer Park where they've got like loads of different things so there's like a little zoo there's like flowers to walk around anyway we've rented a golf cart which was 600 baht and then it was 100 baht for the um, entrance fee to the park so yeah we're just gonna have a little wander around and I'll show you what happened what's going on this is a little path that we're following around at the moment and this is our golf cart which is really cool it's got drinks holders which is really handy um, and then you basically like see you know the map is here so this tells you kind of like all the different places you can go to and I'll show you when we get to our first stop we are kind of just around the track and you can see the mountains in the background and this is like fields where they grow stuff and they've got some lavender here which is so pretty and some flowers um, so yeah I think we can probably park our golf cart up here somewhere looks like people are parking them and taking photos which is really cute um, I don't know where we can park it though but yeah that would be really cute this is part of the park here and there's like all these like different areas that you, know, you can like wander to we've just parked our golf cart here um, but they're so cute so you can like there's loads of different places you can take photos and stuff so we're gonna go and head over to this step thing over here and then maybe up to the flowers and then around here and then over there and take a photo but yeah it's really peaceful here there's like I'm sure there's lots of people here but they're all in their own golf carts and stuff so you don't really see them um, but yeah super peaceful and really glad that we came here We are now over the other side where they've got kind of like these cute little setups. So we're going to take some photos um, and then we'll go get our golf cart and go to the next part. We have come over to another part which has loads of flowers. So have a quick look over here. It's very cute. I think they'll probably lay more flowers down here. As you can see here, they've like laid some seedlings and stuff. But yeah, it's really pretty really lovely and it's like not packed at all which is really nice and there's butterflies lots of butterflies but yeah so relaxing very very peaceful highly recommend coming here this is the rock area which has like rocks and flowers and like areas where you can take photos so yeah we're gonna head to the golf cart and go to the next stop we are driving to our next destination which is the zoo <laughs> we have just stopped off quickly to look at these flowers and take a couple of photos because they're just so beautiful um, and then it's the animal part next so we need to try and find somewhere to park up the golf cart we have come to the petting zoo and you can buy some feed and you feed the rabbits which is so cute come on then oh come on then no, I think some of them are blind. So yeah, this is the little petting zoo. There's like sh sheep, rabbits. There's like little horses over there. Um, and you can buy this for 50 baht and then you basically just like feed the animals and on there has like the different things that you can like, who you can give them to. So yeah, very cute. We have found the little horses. I'm a bit afraid of the sheep, so I've ran off. <laughs> but here's the horses, they're so cute. There's loads of them and they're just tiny little things. But it's so gorgeous. Yes, you are. So precious. Yes. Hello. Yes.
is 20 past five and we're heading out. Uh, don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go and have a wander. Maybe go to the cat cafe, maybe go and get a drink somewhere or something, and then go and get some food. We are heading to the cat cafe for a drink, but we're also gonna pop into Boots quickly and try and get some sleeping uh, spray, because neither of us are sleeping that well at the moment. So pop into Boots, then we'll go to the cat cafe, then we're gonna go grab some dinner, and then we're gonna pack up uh, and get ready for our flight tomorrow. So let's pop into Boots and see if they have any sleep spray. We have come back to the cat cafe just for a little drink and uh, we've been joined by this cutie. He's beautiful. And then you've got all of the cats kind of like here and the other one's here. It's like Snowbell, this one from a, hello. Oh my God. No, don't come to me, please. I'm kind of scared it's gonna jump on me. Please don't jump on me. Yeah, go to my boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> adorable. We've just come downstairs and there's these two cats that have little outfits on and they're so cute. And there's the ginger one that wants to escape all of the time. This is the place we went to in Chiang Rai. It was called Cat and Cup. And they have little, ki little cats that are here and you can get a drink and stuff. Anyway, we're gonna head to the night market now and get some dinner. Um, and then maybe like buy something. Don't know, we'll have a look, but food first because we're both very hungry. So, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna eat tonight. Um, also, don't know how busy it'll be. It opened at s it opens now, so it probably won't be too busy at the moment, but we are both very hungry, so let's go and get some food. I'm just at the smoothie stand. I'm gonna get a watermelon smoothie for 30 baht. Um, and we are on the night market again, which is just here, which is literally right by the food hall. So yeah, I'm gonna grab this and then go and get some food. We are back at the food market again, which isn't as busy as last night because we literally just got here when it's opening. So yeah, I'm gonna get some dinner. I've got my watermelon smoothie, so I'm gonna drink this. Alfie will probably get a beer. Um, yeah, not really too sure what we fancy, but I am very hungry. That is all I know for sure. So let's have a look at what there is. We've got like fish, duck, hot pot clay things, which is quite cool. Cook your own stuff. And then they've got like fried stuff, so stir fry, spicy soup, roast beef. Interesting. Then over here they have some more kind of like dishes, egg fried rice, fried rice, kimchi fried rice. Uh, they've got kind of like spaghetti here, which is quite funny. Papaya salad. And then there is like grilled stuff, squid, beef. Fish, fish, ooh, and they got fried stuff here, yummy. Not sure what we're gonna have. I 
Let's see what Alfie fancies. We got some fried shrimp to start with, with some chilli sauce. And yeah, we're just sat here by the stage and then we'll get some uh, proper dinner afterwards. For our main, we got chicken and cashew and some rice. So we're gonna share this and then we might get something smaller afterwards. We have got some spring rolls to share. These were 30 baht, so we're gonna eat these. Alfie's got his beer, I've got my drink. And then see what we want after. I just picked up one of these bags. It's this one here with the white elephant. It says Thailand on it, so cute. It's up for 100 baht. Um, so we're just having a quick look around the market before we go back to the hotel. I'm uh, gonna pick up some dessert on the way, but they've got really cute things. So I thought we'd have a quick look again um, before, yeah, before we pack our bags. I picked up some pouches for like presents and stuff. So these are like different uh, sizes and different prices. And yeah, just kind of having a little browse um, to see if there's any other things we want to get. Alfie's also looking out for some stuff for his family as well. But yeah, there's loads and loads of different things to look to look at, um, and all different price ranges as well. So yeah, always things to um, purchase. We have now come back to the room. It's quarter to eight. I've got my pancake thing. We're gonna watch a bit of TV and then we're gonna shower and pack because we are up early tomorrow to go to the airport. I thought I'd quickly show you what I got on the market. So I got these two little pouches who I'm not too sure who they're for yet. I think this one's gonna be for my mum and I'm not sure who this one's gonna be for just yet. And then I got this really cute Thailand bag for myself. So yeah, it's just a really cute tote bag. 